Alright guys and welcome back to another episode of the Portsmouth Road to Glory. It is transfer deadline day. Last episode we left it for deadline day for this episode. And I'm thinking about making a couple more signings if possible on loan again. And including Freddie Ladapo. He's 29 year old but I feel like he could be good to bring on as a super. So he's 6 foot 1, he's got the height. Him and Bishop... Uh, Scarlett and Ferguson, I think, would be enough strikers to see us by for the remainder of the season. And I'm hoping Ipswich would be willing to loan him. He doesn't look absolutely that bad. So we're going to try and take a loan. They've accepted, well, not accepted, but they're allowing us to loan Freddie Ladapo. Um, I'm trying to think who else. There's a couple of players on the transfer hub that you guys did say we should maybe take a look at. Um, some suggestions are very good. 80%. Ooh. Ipswich have got such a good team. Like I want Burns, I want Broadhead. Um, I've added Jonathan Lecko from MK Dons and Dahar Dara Burns. Someone said to put Carl Hine in there um, at 1.2. Um, but I'm just going to scout him I'm not going to bring him in now he could be someone we look to bring in in the summer along with Cooper or Macy and yeah so we'll, we'll see for now I've added Oliver Cooper from Swansea he looks like a good midfielder but I'm not going to bring him in now either then we have Rian Brewster from Arsenal. I didn't. Arsenal have actually bought him. He's not someone we would look to bring in now, by the way. He's probably someone we'd look to bring in when we're maybe in the Championship or early Premier League. Um, a guy said to bring in Isaac Lahadji. I didn't even know Sunderland had got this guy in real life. He's overall his 70s, so he'd be the highest player in the squad other than Michael Cooper. I feel like it's a bit unrealistic to bring this guy in right now but I do like the look of him so he would potentially be someone we could look to bring in next season um, then we've got Tej Tejel is a very 17 year old youngster from Stoke City I'm hoping to, he's going to grow a little bit more before we make a decision on him Tom Bloxham from Shrewsbury he's got some two good traits he's got flair and speed dribbler and some of his stats look extremely well he's another one I'm going to keep a close eye on obviously guys I've got to make a decision on Kyle Edwards um, Nathan Brown and Wes Burns but people said to bring in Cole Palmer now I just I'm worried about if I bring him in will we be able to give everybody enough game time who are wanting to give game time to basically uh, we might have to rotate our formation if we bring Cole Palmer in He's. I'm just unsure on what to do right now Kesler Hayden has actually gone to Nice and obviously Morgan Whittaker as well was somebody I would potentially like to bring in next season um, we'll see if Freddie Ladapo will come in on loan. We've got 10 hours to sort something out if something doesn't work out. Um, but Freddie Ladapo has, oh no, I thought Freddie Ladapo has accepted. But Tom Lowry is going out on loan to Basiksha in Turkey for six months. It gets him some game time. He is a good midfielder, but we have a canny few right now. Oh, we have a scouting report and Norwich have come in for Sean Raggett. That is getting declined. We need the defenders. But we'll take a look at our monthly scouting report. Edward Clayton, you are not good enough. Ollie Cole, I like the name, but you're not good enough. Jasper Vaughan is not good enough. Jack Roberts, nope. Max Rose is somebody we could definitely take a look at in the academy. Okay, guys, so Max Rose, his potential is phenomenal. He's 16, striker slash centre forward, 75 to 94. We have some very good players in our academy. We have Aidan Forsyth, 78 to 92. Elliot Holt, 78 to 94. 
Thiago Petit, 76-82. to 82. He is going to be the next Thibaut Courtois for Portsmouth. We will look to bring him up and loan him potentially, but the longest we can keep him in the academy, the better. Max Rose, he looks very, very good. Curve, dribbling, defensive ball control, long shots. I don't know if he is quite a striker, though. Pace 71, shooting's only 51, sprint speed, acceleration. He might be better off potentially being on the wing, but he is six foot one, so that is somebody we could take a look at. We'll keep a close high eye on Max Rose for the future. Um, but we shall. Enough. We're still waiting on Freddie de Ladapo to see if he has accepted our terms and is coming to Portsmouth. We should find out now and he is coming on loan to Portsmouth for the remainder of the season this squad is going to be quite big but we're going to have the squad depth we're going to need to basically push all the way for promotion in our first season would be massive I don't know if we will deserve it but we will try our best but Freddie Ladapo welcome to Portsmouth Football club. I love these cutscenes. They look so, so good. <laughs> so, welcome, Freddy Ladapo. We've got some more strikers. We've got another loan offer for Jaden Reed for Nancy. I will delegate that. Um, a short loan. I just want to see how they do because some players I might potentially look to just move on. 275 grand is worth. He's probably never going to make the first team as what we would want. So maybe we do look to let Jaden Reed go in the summer. Um, but we'll wait and see. There's a few players I want to make deals permanent, but I don't know if we have enough money, so we might have to try and finance some money somewhere. Um, how much money do we have? Oh my God, we don't even have a million. Okay, so some players we will definitely look to bring back, but for now... I don't know if we should be making any more deals. I'm tempted to bring Hyde in just to see what he's like. For six months, there's no harm. We'd have three keepers. Oliver Cooper does look very interesting. 68 overall. Stats are very, very good. Uh, Lahadji looks good. Saeed, I want to scout. And I just don't know what to do about... I might leave Kyle Edwards for now, Chaplin, Burns and Broadhead. Some of these, though, do look interesting. Someone said to me, bring Dembele in. Obviously, Cole Palmer. I just feel like for League One, it, it's not right. Like, he's better than League One. Morgan Whitaker, though. He is someone I'm definitely... Definitely interested in bringing in at some point. I don't know whether we should just leave it there for bringing players in. For right now, I'm unsure. Uh, we'll have to maybe wait and see. We'll advance a couple more hours. There's no mega, mega rush. But I think we're done. I don't see where we need to really look to bring any more players in. We can allow players to go out like Jaden Reed, But I think we could be done for now. I'm happy with the few signings we have brought in. Uh, we'll take a look at the transfer history a second. Because some interesting deals... <coughs> <coughs> going on and they do interest me so we have Tom Barlow yep that's standard one Um, where are we Chiquinho he's a good player for Wolves to be fair Portuguese uh, this is interesting Augustin Baldi 1.4 million to Arsenal 
Interesting, interesting. Um, anybody else what stands out? Uh, Antonio Safer to Spurs. Cho has gone on loan. Ladapo's on loan with us. Carlos Vela to Newcastle. That's quite a good one, really, for them. But I think, I think we're going to be done, you know, guys. Uh, Joel Montiero to Hartlepool. I don't really think we need to be bringing any more players in. I think we are going to be done, guys, for now. It should see us till the end of the season more than, more than fine, really. Oh, we've got a loan offer for Curtis, though. I'm happy for him to get some game time out on loan at Genk. That would be brilliant. He could come back a refreshed player. So, if we can get rid of him... It would probably be a good transfer window, but if they don't accept this now, it's going to be tight for him. Jaden Reed has gone out on loan to Ansi in France. Curtis, they've agreed the loan. This is going to be tight. This is going to be down to the wire to whether he goes out on loan here. Oh, is he going to go? We will see now. He needs to go now. No, oh, he hasn't. The loan won't go through. Got an offer for Oji. We'll reject that. It's a shame. Curtis isn't going to manage to get out on loan because there's only an hour left. Unless he goes now. But I don't think they do. The way the game works doesn't allow it. It'll say declined, yeah. He hasn't gone unfortunately but we've got some games to get through this season uh, this episode sorry not this season um so we'll start getting into some games guys and hopefully get some more points on the board where do we stand we're in ninth on 46 points Gone offer for Hackett, getting rejected, nowhere. Obviously, Curtis Lone rejected. But we've got another monthly scout, guys. We've got Kirk Cowie. We'll sign him. Duncan Nicole reject. Douglas Lindsay would take a look 500 grand. Reese Edgar, no, I don't think he'll probably be good enough. Logan Malcolm, no. So we'll jump into our game then, guys. Up against MK Dons. Oh, we've got an offer from Stuttgart for Paddy Lane. We didn't get any in the whole January transfer window, even though he wants to leave. At 1.3 million, I saw his market value is more than that. I'm going to delegate it. I want more. I'm going to be honest. We'll see what they come back to us with. Here we go then. Freddy Ladapo to get his debut underway. And I think we will do just fine. Out wide to Hall. Is Taylor going to get back up? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, what a goal from Dane Scarlett. <laughs> What a finish, 10 minutes played and it's 1-0, what, what a beautiful play that was from Portsmouth, absolutely outstanding, lovely passing, Blackett Taylor with this beautiful assist and Scarlett Water finish from a young, young striker, he is our next Harry Kane, but it's brilliant. And we keep on going for find the second. It's beautiful play from MK Dons. Bernard. Ooh, what an effort. That was um, some effort, that, like. Nice and high up as well. Oh, Scarlet. 
Oh, I was home, missed that. You just had to dink it over the keeper and we would have been 2-0. Oh, that's a massive. That's where Ladapo should have been and he would have probably buried that with him being like six foot. Brilliant. Bernard is so good. He's a must-buy for next season on loan. Oh, MK Dons have equalised as I say that. Our defending is shambolic. It's not good enough at all. Oh, Lad oh my God, Ladapo. How, how, how on earth have we not scored there? Bring it on, Campbell. Bring it on, Dale. Oh, my God. How have we not scored that? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I thought Ladapo had his first goal for Portsmouth. But he's going to have to wait. Brilliant. Campbell's made a class run there. Ladapo manages to find him as well. Inside to Scarlett. Oh, has been blocked. Ugh. Brilliant. That was a good tackle, Ref. That was a beautiful tackle. A yellow card. No. Here comes Jonathan Lecco. Darren Burns, he looks good. He's been doing really well down that side, to be fair. Come on. It's going to be another draw. We're getting a lot of draws. Oh, my God. No. Oh, my days. Oh. That's hard to take. Isa in the 88th minute. Oh, that's so hard to swallow. What? It's a... Oh. Should be a throw-in, not a free kick. But that is going to do it for the game. And we lose 2-1 to MK Dons in the last dying embers of the game. Oh, just when I think we're making progress to the playoffs, both we get a wake-up call. Here we go then, guys. We're in the quarter-finals, up against Ipswich, in the Papa John's Trophy, and we have start, we are giving a debut to Ladapo, who is on loan from Ipswich. Let's see if he can score against his old team, and hopefully we can come out victorious. Campbell is starting as well, with Dale on the other wing. Let's see how well we can do. Oh, Ladapo will try to play that inside to Campbell. Let's hope and pray we can get a victory here against Ipswich. Into Scarlet. Ladapo. Oh, he's in. He's in on goal. No. What a def what a tackle. Brilliant defending from Rafferty. Campbell to bring it out. Dale's making the run through the middle. And I think he's on side. And that is 1-0 to Portsmouth in the quarter-finals against Ipswich, one of our rival teams in the league. And we've got the we've got a goal. A nice early-ish goal. Brilliant run from Campbell. And Dale was wide open on that side. And he just plays a lovely ball through. And I tell you what, Dale doesn't half bury it. That out for a corner. Humphreys to whip the ball in. Let's see if we can clear it. First time of asking. Campbell has, but he's given it straight away to the defenders. Ooh, Cooper with a save. Some more defending to do. Harness to whip this one in. Campbell again with the ball. It's in Cooper's hands. Rafferty to bring it out. Let's see. Ah, oh, they're playing lovely football that. Wow. Zhang Young. What a finish. That was emphatic. There was no stopping that shot. And we go again with 1-1. One, one. It's not what we needed. Go on, Ladapo. Make a run through the middle. Okay, Campbell to do it all himself. Not going to give it in. Oh, he has just... Whew. What, what, what? Well, that's a free kick, ref. Humphrey, he didn't even attempt to get the ball. That should be a yellow. Wow, what a let-off that is. Mal on pack. Let's see if what Campbell can do on the free kicks. 
Let's see if we can curl this one in. Come on. Oh, no, he's hit the wall. <sighs> oh, ragged. Is that half time already? That was a very, very quick first half. Come on. If the score. Oh, score line still nil nil, but. No, oh, Chaplin. Oh, my God. <sighs> I feel like wherever they shoot from at the moment, it's just going in the back of the net. No, get rid. Keeping it on our edge of our box is no good. Out to Bishop. Can Bishop outrun Edmondson? No, Ladapo's in through the middle. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. He brings it back all the level against his old team in Ipswich. It's proved to be a good sign in Ladapo now. It just gives us more options up top when Scarlett and Ferguson aren't quite at the races. Ladapo can come in and that's a beautiful finish really. It's not an easy one and he still bangs it in that corner. But now we need to push on. 15 minutes left to play. Can we grab or snatch a winner without them getting another opportunity? One goal in two matches. Freddy Ladapo. Oh no. Oh no. The straight in. What a save from Cooper. It's another free kick, uh, another corner. But try and make sure we clear this. Leif Davies, what a left back he is, by the way. Played for Leeds. Oh, it's another beautiful save. I don't know if he's on loan at Ipswich or whether they bought him. It's 2 2 still. These crosses are coming in thick and fast. Brilliant from Hall. Bishop to run it out. Go on, Ladapo, make the runs. Has he got the pace to get past Burns? He should do. He's a bit fresher than Burns, but Burns is keeping up with him, to be fair. Oh, no. Marlon Pack. What? Ladapo's in again. Can he grab the winner? Oh, my God. What a save from Walton. No way. Here we go. Where is Ladapo? Whip that ball in. Look, why is Blackett Taylor there? Come on. No, that was the chance. It's 2-2 two -two though. I don't know if we get extra time or whether it goes straight to penalties. We shall see. Oh, it's straight to penalties. Right. Who, Malon Pack? Oh, yeah, we'll let him. Okay, so we start with Bishop. Oh, this is um, nail biting. Oh, Zhang Younging against Cooper. Oh, and he saved it. Come on, he saved it. Now can Bishop bury this in the bottom corner? But it's gone in. He's buried it. Now where's Burns? What can he do against Cooper? And he puts that one in the top corner. Marlon Pack, straight down the middle. It's 2-1 to Portsmouth. Now Connor Chaplin, what a player he is, by the way. Oh, what a penalty. Don't even think any keeper would save that. Let's see what Ladapo can do. Oh, a cheeky chip. And he scores his. Go on, Cooper. Oh, it's going to come down to that first penalty that we saved. Oh, no. John Jules. Oh, I knew he missed it. Never. Leif Davies. Oh, it's all square. We need to score this now. Oh, the pressure's on. Blackett, Taylor. Please, please bury this. You've got to. Yes. Come on. Sudden death. We just need to save... One. Oh, and they've scored. Oh, this is Towler. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Straight down the middle, please. No! Oh, that's hard to take. How have we lost that? Oh. 
But it's not the end of the world, I suppose. It is the league we're trying to go for. And I'm hoping we still can. We'll take a look at the table and see where we are. Right then, guys. Our next game is against Bolton. They are two places below us, but only two points off us. So it's a massive, massive game. That It's probably a must-win game right now. Yeah, so let's get into this one. And I'm hoping we can get back on the winning streak in the league. Um, oh, no. Is that going to be 1-0? Is Jerome going to... Oh, in Lundalu. Bolton have started very, very fast. My God, just passed the freaking ball. Go on, Taylor's in. Got to score that. Yes. Come on, Blackie Taylor. 1-1. One, one. 57th minute. We are back in this game. With a nice goal from Blackie Taylor. It is lovely. What a finish. I might look to bring on some subs actually. Taylor and Hackett are quite tired. I've got John Jules who I want to give more game time to. Curtis, I'm going to give him a chance. Bishop can come on for Ferguson. And hopefully we can go on with the last half an hour and try our hardest to try and get a win. Like I said, draws are just not good enough. We've got too many draws this season. We need three points on the board, really. I oh, know. Come on. Oh, my God. He's chipping past Vincent. Oh. It's just too easy. He just ran from like the halfway line and scored. All that hard work that we've done is just unraveled within 0, 0.0 seconds. Oh, it's so goddamn annoying that. No! <laughs> Bishop! Oh, we've lost it, man. This our season could be unraveling in front of our eyes. We've got to change something. Something's not working. I've brought in new signings. They've done all right. It's just not been enough. Is it the formation? Maybe we have to take a look at it. Take a look at ourselves and. Brush ourselves down and go again, I suppose. We'll get into that another game of this episode. A massive, massive game, guys, against Plymouth Argyle. Probably one of our biggest, probably is our biggest game of the season. What a cool cinematic. Here we go. At Fratton Park. Portsmouth Puss versus Plymouth. Both very good teams. Plymouth Argyle flying high, really, in real life. Let's see what Portsmouth can do. We have changed it up, guys. We are going free at the back. We're doing it. We're going to give it a try. Give it a swirl. And hope for the best, really. Let's just jump into this one. Here we go, then. See what this free at the back formation is like. See if it just gives us more attacking prowess in front of goal. But it could leave us open at the back like it is right now. Oh, what an effort from Major. Bellingham to bring it out, but it's straight back in. Oh, what a brilliant turn. From... I just got to credit where credit is due, guys. What a goal from Wright. I believe that's the youngster on loan from Aston Villa. I 
something's just not working and at this rate we're going to get the sack what a turn that was from Tyreek Tyreek Wright lovely finish with his left foot 7 minutes in 1-0 down that wasn't good but now oh my god I don't think it's helped anyway Oh. Our season's just crumbling. Need oh, need something to get us. Ladapo, he's in. Can he finish that? Yes, he has. He's finished it. Ladapo with his second goal in two games. He could be our striker. I was going to bring Ferguson on, but I thought, nah, I'm bringing Ladapo on. He's got the experience in League One. And it's worked. It's paid off. He's managed to grab us a goal. Let's see now if we can keep him out. And try and get the equaliser. I say that, and he'll probably come him again. We haven't got long though. Ten minutes to try and get at least a draw. Ah, oh, yeah, we'll give it straight back. That's how we do it round here, and that's going to be free. Oh, if it wasn't for Matt Macy, we have not got long at all. Towler, beautiful ball out wide. Tiller Dapo, back out to Curtis. This is our only chance. Has Curtis got the speed? Yes, we've done it! 88th minute, Freddy Ladapo. What a signing he has been. He has kept our season alive right now. What a double. Come on, in the 68th minute. And he's bagged two goals for us. What a moment. I can't believe we've pulled this game back. Let's see. I don't think we have long. No, it's 89th minute to try and grab a winner. If we got the ball back straight away, maybe have a chance. But no, we just need to make sure we see this game out now, to be fair. A draw is better than nothing. And that is exactly what we get. We pushed hard and we come away with at least a point after a very, very bad start against Plymouth Argyle. Alright guys, we have loaned Ronan Curtis out to Genoa in France for a season-long loan. But obviously that won't kick in until the start of next season. We've sold Harry Jewett White to Wimbledon for 230 grand as well. Our last game of this episode then is against Wickham. And it's still a very another tough game to try and get Oh my god, three points. Because Wickham aren't too far behind us in the league either. And here they come. It just would happen. Oh my god. You can't... <laughs> you can't write this. Oh, this is a joke. I can't defend to save my life. I am absolutely shocking. Shy Palawank at trying to defend. I just can't do it. <laughs> Hanlan with the goal for Wickham Wanderers. Try and take the game to Wickham. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Jakobsen. <laughs> Guys, I want to cry right now. Because Portsmouth are really struggling. And I'm not too sure why, because I feel like we play well in most of the games that we're in. No. What? Gareth McLeary's in? No! Oh, guys, this is embarrassing. <laughs> but, guys, I'm sorry, but I'm not even. it's not even half time. Jump to result, 4-1. They battered us. We had three chances. It's appalling. 
Well, guys, that is going to end this episode. It's not been a very good episode, to be fair. I don't even think we've got one win at all this month in January. I'm going to have to try and shape it up very fast. Otherwise, we'll probably end up getting sacked without getting into season two. Oh, it's really not good. I'll take on your feedback in the comment section, guys, if you've got any help on which direction I should go. But without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next episode.